Hey guys, um, what I'll be doing for my graduation product is conducting an experiment. Um, what the experiment is is that I'll be testing different theories of driving styles um, with my uh, 1999 BMW M3 convertible. Um, what I'll be testing is the difference between gas mileages with the top up with the windows up versus windows down and then versus the top down with the windows up and the windows down. Um, the reason why, why I'm doing this is the fact that um, um, one of the main reasons why people buy hybrids is the fact that um, they're thinking they're getting be better gas mileage and the fact that with this better gas mileage they're saving, saving money. But what I'm trying to show is that um, even with not without hybrid cars, um, people can still get a lot of gas mileage driving a certain way with their uh, normal gas cars. Um, the route that I'll be taking for this experiment is I'll be starting at the Shell gas station in James City and I'll be taking the highway all the way to Kinston and then turn it back at Kinston and heading back to the Shell in James City. Um, and I'll be doing this experiment twice for each theory um, just to get a more accurate reading and how I'll be calculating the uh, reading is that um, I have a system in my car that calculates this gas mileage as I go along um, but to get an even more accurate reading when I get back to the pump um, before I actually before I uh, start the route I'll fill, uh, fill up my car and then I'll take the highway take the route come back fill it up again and then I'll calculate it by how many miles I've driven divided by how much I have to fill up at the end and that should give me an accurate uh, miles per gallon um, my hypothesis for this experiment is that I believe that the um, the best mileage is going to be with everything up just because it's the most um, aerodynamic and it allows the, um, allows the car to um, cut through the air a lot quickly and more efficient. The worst is going to be with everything down, the exact opposite, just because aerodynamics is, um, is a big part of how gas mileage um, works. Um, and then with the windows, the difference in windows, I think we'll see a little bit of difference, but I think the biggest difference is going to be with the uh, top down and the top up. Um, so I think that's, oh, and the variable that I want to cover or um, address the most is a uh, human error. Um, what I'll be able to do is that I'll be going, the speed limits are 50, 55, and 70 on the route that I'm taking. Um, as soon as I hit the speed limit, I'll, I'll set the car into cruise control. Um, which takes away human error because what cruise control does is that it um, tells the car that you want to stay at that speed that you're at exactly and it will do anything to stay at that speed. Um, I think that's about it. So uh, let's get to the test and see how it goes. Hey guys. Alright, so today we'll be doing our first test. Um, it's going to be a top up and the windows up and the AC is going to be off. Um, what I'll be doing is as soon as we get to this light, I'll turn on my computer to start um, measuring our miles per gallon. And then also I'll come back and fill up again and then calculate the miles per gallon off of that. We just did um, the test for the top up and the windows up. Um, on my first try I did uh, 31.4 miles to the gallon. And then um, on my second try I did 31.3 miles to the gallon. So um, we'll see how that compares with all the other um, test that we did, but I think it's probably going to be the best one out of them. I'll right, see you at the next test. Hey guys, so now we're going to test the uh, with the top down, with the windows up. Um, everything's going to be the same. I'm not going to be able to talk as much through this one, just because you're not going to be able to hear me. So I'll see you guys when we get back to the station. Alright, hey guys, we got back from the two tests with the roof down and the windows up. Um, on the first test, we got 28.2 miles to the gallon, and um, on the second test, we got 28.3 miles to the gallon. So it's about a drop of three miles per gallon with the uh, with the top up, but we'll see how that manages with the uh, with the windows down next time. All right, see you guys. Hey guys, so today we'll be testing um, with the top up and the windows down. I think that this will get the same gas mileage around when I had the top up and the top and the windows up but maybe maybe the windows will affect the aerodynamics a little bit causing the car to work a little bit more than it had to because the windows down in the air comes through and flows and causes more drag but I think it's going to be very little of a change but we'll check it out. 
So we're going to do one last test. Um, what I'll be doing is um, I'll be doing with the top up and the windows up. But this time I'm going to crank the AC as high as it possibly can go. Um, because there's a theory about um, AC, how that's affecting gas mileage. So I'll see that how that affects it and um, see how it compares with the windows down and everything else. But um, I'll probably believe that since AC is using up, the AC is using um, the power from the engine, putting more stress on the engine, it might it might cause um, a decrease in gas mileage. But um, I know it was true for the older cars, and I know that um, um, car makers now um, have gotten more efficient of uh, creating. Uh, Creating a um, more efficient air conditioning. But we'll see how that plays out. Alright, I'll see you guys when we get back in the park. Hey, we just got back from uh, testing the, with the top up and the windows up with the AC blasting. Um, and the first test we got uh, 28.3 miles to the gallon. And then the second test we got 28.4 miles to the gallon. Um, I believe that's in the middle of our range, but I know that it's um, it's worse than when we did normally without the AC going. Um, so we now we'll go see how um, how all the tests played out and see we'll compare all the results. See ya. All right, so that concludes all of um, the testing I I did. Um, well, the, I have the results here, and it looks like so the worst out of out of all the tests was um, from at 28.1 miles to the gallon with the uh, top down and the windows down. Um, next would be the uh, top down and the uh, windows up with uh, 28.3 miles to the gallon. Uh, next was with the top everything up but the AC was blasting at uh, 28.4 miles to the gallon. Uh, next was top up, windows down, no AC at 31.3 miles to the gallon. And first was everything up, no AC, with 31.4 miles to the gallon. So, um, what I found is that I've come to the conclusion that 
um, driving with the top up rather than the top down is um, gets you better gas mileage and it's more efficient. Um, by about uh, four or three miles to the gallon. Um, but what surprised me was the biggest difference between um, having the AC on and having the AC off. Um, having the AC on dropped me by about three miles to the gallon. Um, so it dropped me from the 31 down to 28, about where the top down would be. So I guess driving with the top down and driving with the AC on is about the exact same, about the exact, exact same mileage. Um, but yeah, that's a uh, So if you want to get the best gas mileage, you're going to have to um, drive with everything up and no AC. So it might be a little bit uncomfortable, but that, that's what you want to do. And it, but I mean, it, if you want to drive, go every chance you get, try to drive without the AC, even if it means if you have a convertible, take the roof off. Um, but that's what I came to see. Um, and it surprised me about that. Um, but I had a great time doing this and um, I got great results out of the way I conducted it. So I'll see you guys later.